two weeks after CBP closed the Lukeville port of entry here in Arizona for that same reason. On Friday, that prompted Governor Katie Hobbs to deploy the Arizona National Guard to the border, but they will not be working with CBP. Kega 9's Ryan Fish is in Lukeville. He shows us what's happening on the ground. The Lukeville port of entry has now been closed for two weeks as now both federal and state agencies are racing to respond to the migrant crisis. God bless America. We didn't see those large crowds of hundreds and hundreds of migrants lined up, but there's still a steady stream of them walking to be processed by Border Patrol. Most of this group arrived today. A 19-year-old tells me about a dozen of his family members took a 13-hour bus ride from Sinaloa, Mexico to escape violence there. There were a lot of bad things that we didn't want the children to see. This family is seeking treatment for epilepsy. Their tiring journey taking them from Guatemala to loved ones in Maryland. What we don't see is the Arizona National Guard, which Governor Katie Hobbs has deployed to the border area. But her executive order specifies they are to augment and support local and state law enforcement, meaning they won't be working with Border Patrol. At this point, we don't know where the National Guard will be helping. They tell us that information not releasable at this time. In Lukeville, Ryan Fish, KGUN 9. Ryan's been covering recent issues at our border for weeks now, including cartel violence at Sassabee. He's also our Midtown reporter, so if you've got a story idea, scan that QR code.